When soldiers invaded the streets, my dreams came to a halt. Hours thinned to minutes, minutes narrowed to seconds. You must go, you must leave now, if you still want to leave, my daddy told me, as the bodies of my mates were retrieved from the streets. Under a roof many miles away from home, we found ourselves as refugees, without crossing country borders. As one as of now, I'm having about 137 children. It's class two. About 124. Class three. I'm having about 148. The tapis, there are two of them here. Tepi Norris Tima from class three, and uh, Tepi Alain Tepi from class five. These two children have serious problems because they came here just in January, some around mid-January with their mother, called Madame Tepi Quinta Api, who explained to me that she's just a, a grade one teacher, but teaching with a private institution, with very low salary. These children who have been displaced. Some of them have not been to school for three years. So when they come now here, they look at schooling being a new thing all over to them. Hey, if you are pee, you go to class. Quick. Classes where that were about 80 something, 90 something. Some of them now are running to 130, 140, 150. Hey, have you greeted? Yes, uh, there are too many children here. It's obvious because about uh, one third of this class is made of displaced children from the northwest and the southwest. If you have finished the correction. Those children who have come from Northwest and from Southwest this year because of the problems that are there. If you came here because you, are, uh, you have problems there, stand, let's see you. From Boya, from Kumba, from Kumbo, all those who are coming from there, stand, let's see you. And all of you should be sitting. Sit, everybody, sit. Where's Tepi Norris? As a fresh graduate, my aspirations were high. Then tensions rose as the town screamed in demand, and soldiers invaded the streets. Hours thinned to minutes, and minutes narrowed to seconds. Never did I imagine the distance between harmony and violence to be so thin. Popping gunshots like popcorn was the undesired music that we listened to. 
what once had been a conflict had become a crisis calling for war. All life that was not armed came to a standstill. My dreams came to a halt. Learn today. Mm -hmm. Only mathematics. Mm. Ah, health science. Okay. So it was good. Mm. Boy, what about your stomach? It's fine. There was no problem again. Yeah. Okay. But not too okay. Where are your friends? Yeah, I said. Okay. It means people have to eat or you not eat. Mm. Oh, they will eat with their friends. I am Tepi Quinta. I am from Bamenda, Northwest region. I, I came here due to the crisis we have in my own village. the mineral and natural resources in the, inter in the interior of Africa. Because of the lack of the knowledge to know that they have raw resources now, mm -hmm. they fight, they be rush. When they discover it, they were rushing to come and acquire a, a, a next thing because they know that there was oil in Limbo. But since they came and stood only at the coast. I've been teaching in the village as a PTA teacher. I don't know French, I don't know many people, I don't know what to do. Before the crisis came, I was not really feeling, because they were giving us soap from school. Saturday we go to our farms, we socialize, we feel free in moving, we interact. But as the crisis came, we are only in bushes. You cannot even trek, no way to go, no way to even meet a friend or meet somebody to discuss. So when I came, a friend directed me to this school. I came, they took me there. I came, I stayed here, started going to the school, started. They are giving me 38,000. Yes, when I take the 38,000, 30, I pay this room for 10,000. Because they give us with light and water. It is not easy as to compare in the village, because in the village we have our farms, we have our bananas. Bitter leaves we harvest from behind, we even make palm oil ourselves and manage our life. But here, everything I'm buying and on credit most of the time. Even somebody insults you here or say anything to you that will hurt you, just pretend as if you don't, you have not hurt. Because we are on a strange land. We don't know anywhere to go. And the only thing that we can live here happy is that we should love everybody. We should be friendly with everybody. We should respect everybody. That is what I always tell, I'm always telling them. So not bad this, huh? No, it's a cat. So not bad saying, it's a cat. Thank you. Merci. 
Au fire pepper, no. Au pot de bouche, de. My school doors remain shut. Market deserted. Those who dare to go face threats of knife cuts in their fingers. Feeding my pigs became a luxury, and each new day, body laid in the street. You must go, you must leave now, if you still want to live, Dad told me. When the raid started that night, my bags had long been packed. House by house, we heard them getting closer. By dawn, I was gone, and all I had left behind. But what about those who remain? What about who? Yeah. Yes, mommy. Angel. How are you? You are fine. Daddy is saying that I should greet you, Alain, boy. And Anna. I should greet them also. Kiss me now, kiss me. <laughs> Love yourself. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye. There are my two sisters in Mamenda with my one daughter. It's my younger sister. They were also there. She also graduated from teacher training. She was teaching in Mamenda. Due to the crisis, she said she would not go. She is her in Mamenda. There are two of them that are there in Mamenda. The 20th of November, Tuesday. About seven something, that they called me through my phone that my father is killed. The people that killed my father are the boys that are fighting this thing. I don't even think to go back because no mother, no father. To me, I, I believe I'm already a stranger. And again, my children are here, my brothers are here. I don't have anything to go there again. My elder sister struggled to complete it. Before. Even my registration, I suffered a lot because she's, she suffered back money until before she completed my registration. I'm a student, I'm going to school. When I return back from school, the other thing I will need to change my dresses, ask food for my elder sister when I eat, I sit and read my book the next day back to school. I hope I could go to Batibo when only the ongoing crisis is over because when there my life, is in danger, but being here, I'm somehow protected. As I rested my bags under a roof many miles away from home, we cried tears of uncertainty. Bonjour, ma mère, they said, but I felt their eyes staring at us. Fleeing mother, daughter, and grandson, sharing a small room. When butter and milk disappeared from the breakfast table, and we rationed the little food we had. I kept my smile to spare my mother's heart. When they called me out on the streets, I lowered my head, afraid to speak my mind. Yet I'll build a new home, continue what I have started. I am strong indeed. I started this work in the on the seventh of January. My mechanic work that I'm doing now. So from my house to the work site is six hundred pounds a day. So all those money is my big sister Pinta that is providing me that money. So I don't have any job that I'm doing here to have money. It's only to come and learn from my work side.
Do I take by Jana? 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 This one? Jana? 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 I dream in the night. I dream as I was in the village with my father. The dreams all coming to me so many times. We were in the house, cooking with him, I'm talking with him, and laughing and playing. So after that, I get up. I cry, I cry, I cry in the night. I wake up like that in the night, I cry. After crying, I kneel down and I was pray, I pray, I pray. I pray that, that I thank you for bringing my late father to me. I'm so glad for that. But I pray to you that, let he be your right angel, Michael, and let he fight against his sin battle, the people that connive to kill him. Let him never forgive them. Let them also fight against the people and also kill the people. Let the people shall never forget. The suffering that we are suffering here is not what we are supposed to be doing. It's because we kill our father. That's why we are suffering here. And I pray like that. I say Amen. Amen. I, I always told my sister, she also told me that, I should, we should forget about Papa, about our father. Our father already died. So the only thing for us now is to be praying and know what will be in our life in the future. My life in Bafusam, yeah, I'm going to try to look what will be good for my future, yeah, I don't even know. But it's a thing about Bamenda, I don't even have any idea to be Bamenda about. My drive is stronger than my scars. I am determined to survive. I am displaced but not misplaced. <laughs>